Look, I'm in a hotel. I've got a shoot early tomorrow morning at Lord's Cricket Grounds. I'm out tonight watching a band. I'm going to see Suede. So I thought I'd get a hotel for the night because I mean cheap. Then the woman on the front desk said to me when I came in, it looks a nice hotel, as you can see. She said, I've got one of the best rooms. So we're going to find out what the room is like. I didn't book a good room. I just booked the cheapest room they had. Oh my word. How good is this? Some kind of work of art. A desk where I can write the next great American novel. A bed, intended quite a lot of sleeping, so that's really pretty special. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, I've got to do the thing where you put your card in the thing, haven't I? Hang on. Oh, they've got lights and everything. There we go, some kind of sink. Toiletries, I'm gonna be stealing these. I mean, I never use body lotion or anything like that, but it's important to take whatever you get, including probably the, the dental set. Another mirror. Uh, when you're filming in a mirror, you think you've got to look at yourself, but you don't, you've got to look straight down the camera lens. That's the, that's the trick to it, so. It looks like I'm looking at myself in the mirror, but I'm actually looking at you. More art. Place for weeing and defecating. Got a toilet. Quite posh brushed metal toilet flushing thing. Bath shower thing. Some kind of coffee making device. Well, I'll have two coffees here, it seems. I'm gonna think of you extra coffees in the drawers. No. Two coffees, which I will have in the morning. There's a further tea making thing. There's some biscuits there. Not allowed biscuits, because I'm rank. So I have to leave them or take them away and give them as presents for Christmas for people. Look here, it's one of those room smelly things. Edwards and Raphael. Reed diffusers. There we go, vanilla and coconut. This place is absolutely amazing. Might not go to the gig town, I'm gonna see Swade at Hammersmith Apollo. Might just stay here. Brilliant. I don't get in hotels much, I like it. Quite tired from working late yesterday, so I'm gonna have an afternoon nap. Uh, so I'm gonna take off the stuff, the nonsense they put on beds, because you don't really need that or that, any of those really. Also, I'm not really sure what this thing is, this sort of weird cloth thing. Does anyone know what this is called? An end cloth, there we go. Much better for sleeping in, see you in a bit. All right, I've had a sleep, I feel amazing. I'm gonna go out of the town now, get some food, and then I'm gonna go and watch some popular music. By popular music, I mean a band that was popular in the 1990s, Suede. Suede are excellent. I'm not going to take my good camera out with me. She's going to have to live in my mobile phone while we go out and about. Come on. I'm back. It's a good gig. Could give it eight out of ten. Pretty happy with that. Wasn't drinking as well, so I feel great. Normally after a gig, you're a bit, a bit tipsy perhaps, and I feel nice in the morning. So well done, whoever invented the no drinking rule for the deranking uh, building a better Robbie program. One of the big decisions when you check into a hotel is how much you should unpack. Now for a night here, all I'm really going to unpack is the toiletries, maybe lay out my t-shirt for tomorrow so it's not too creased for the morning, but generally there's not much to do. I'm not going to be using hangers or anything like that. You've got to be in for a few days before you do that, I think. 
Okay, got an early start tomorrow, so there can be no hotel pursuits like TV watching or mini bar drinking, partly because I'm not allowed to drink also. But I'm going to get a good sleep. I'll be up bright and early to head off to Lords. Lord's.